pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Nerf Secrets Revealed. And now for today, I would just like to talk about the Alpha Strike lineup. I've already mentioned that the Alpha Strike lineup is in fact meant to be a competitor for the many different competitors that happen to have cheaper costs and more simplistic functions. And the Alpha Strike lineup being a, a kind of belated answer to that question, I feel like that it is in fact going to be a rather successful series. Being that, well, it's gotten better as time went on. And of course, Nerf was actually able to keep the price tags low while still giving the blasters the more complex sort of feel. Especially given to the fact that the Harpy and the Fossa have certainly had themselves some pretty good ways of going. Now you might be telling me that they're actually called the Hammerstorm in Flight, well... Maybe I can talk more about the names and the fact that why they had to be changed like that in another episode of Nerf Secret to Reveal. But for now, let me just simply point out that the Alpha Strike lineup itself currently has a grand total of nine blasters, with the latest one being known as the Uppercut, or as I'm going to know it as, the Uinta. Again, more on that later. But of course, aside from all that, there have actually been some fake concepts that people have brought up, and I'm not just entirely skeptical about the idea itself, but we might just actually get more Alpha Strike blasters as time goes on. It's only a matter of time anyways before new blasters start to turn up, because after all, I've already talked a lot about the Ultra series and how it's definitely been growing pretty big throughout this whole year alone. Six months have passed almost, and yet we were able to get a lot out of it. With just one blaster released all of 2019, and now we're going to have six this whole year. But who knows what's going to happen in 2021. Simply put, the rest of 2020 is going to be a blast when it comes to simply put having new nerf blasters all around. But to be fair, I would very much like to simply talk about the fact that, well, while the ultra darts themselves may not have been the best idea in general, I would just like to point out that aside from all the flaws that have been identified, I've had zero problems going on with my blasters. Nothing at all. My Ultra 1 has handled just fine. My Ultra 2 has handled pretty amazingly. And as for the others, well, I know the 4 is going to come out soon, and maybe the 5 will come along close by. But at this point, there's just a not a lot left that I have left to talk about that, but going back to Alpha Strike. Throughout the rest of this whole year, we're probably going to expect a lot of new material to come by in the Alpha Strike lineup. But aside from those ridiculous concepts that have come about, and they've pretty much been debunked by now. They're not actually real out there. Hasbro will, in fact, continue to make Alpha Strike Blasters, but seeing as they're totally focused on bringing the Ultra lineup to a really, really big new level out there, at the same time, they're also going to try and continue the Mega lineup, Zombie Strike lineup, and Elite lineup. It's only a matter of time before anything else happens. But at this point... I guess there's a lot of other stuff that I could probably talk about here, so let's just leave it at that. The Alpha Strike lineup started pretty well, and although they might have had some minor issues and the like in terms of functionality because of their cheap build quality, I will say for sure that any of my Alpha Strike blasters work perfectly. There's really not many problems I have with any of mine, although if there were any, then well, I do have a few solutions to try and fix them up. But seeing as how far we've come with everything based on the Ultra lineup and Alpha Strike lineup, I'd say it's no surprise that Nerf is in fact going to try and cash in on a lot of different perspectives in life. If there's two big missions that Nerf is attempting to utilize, it would be for one, to compete against the competitors that have cheaper build quality and functionality. And the second would be to create a whole new lineup and build it at a very, very fast rate. And supposedly, they've proved successful in both of these ways. So you know what? I guess I'll talk more about some other stuff later in the future. But if you want to see more, go down on my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.